defense into offense there as he blocks the strike oh, and counters man, with a perfect at that jab. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got a double. Beautiful take out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Oh, nicely done. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nice move into half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. A triangle, a triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. And he's out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes now for Justin Gaethje. And striking with about 48% accuracy against Justin Gaethje. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Yep, nice double leg takedown attempt there. And got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence, and it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, looks like he's transitioning off. And he's out. I mean, how many can he take? All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, both Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Five Third round five. underway. Good punch, Lance. Oh, high-level stuff there as he blocks the strike and counters with a jab. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gaethje. Just missed on the front kick there. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that.